Hey everyone, I just wanted to film my February 2018 wrap up part 1, which is also known as the Baby Sims Club wrap up books 11 through 15. Now, the first book I read was Christy and the Snobs, and this one I'm giving three stars. In this one, Christy gets to know the kids in her new neighborhood because she moved in when her mom married Watson, and it's a rich part of the neighborhood. and this book was almost a two for me. It was a little bit sad because it teaches you how not to handle new kids and people that don't like you. Christy did some pretty immature things. Yes, she grew from it, but it was still immature, and I don't think it should teach kids that. But also, there's a trigger warning for pets' deaths. Um, her oldest pet passed away in this book, and it's depressing. I cried a little bit because it's a sensitive topic for me, and I love my pets. So, well, there's that. The next book is Claudia and the New Girl. In this one, a new girl moves to town, obviously, and her name is Ashley, and she's an artist like Claudia is. And I really liked that this book taught more about Claudia's art because you don't see that too much. And in this one, Claudia kind of forgets her duties to the club and school because Ashley thinks she has talent and she wants to... And Ashley studied at Keys, which is like this prominent institute for art, and she's willing to take Claudia underneath the wings. And in the process, Claudia gets distracted and treats her friends not so nicely, but her friends treat her not so nicely back. So this one I'm giving four stars. And then, the next book was Baby Sins and Bones, a super special number one. And in this one, the Pikes and the Bruins, along with the Baby Sins Club, go on a cruise for three days, three or four days, and then end up with Disney World for three days. And I gave this one four stars as well. It's fun, it alternates chapters between the Baby Sins and Kaylin and Byron Pike. And there's a lot of substance to it. I would have liked it to be longer, but still, from being a middle grade, it's not too bad. I liked it. I've always liked the Super Specials. And then book 13, Goodbye Stacy, Goodbye. Unfortunately, as you can see, Stacy moves back to New York when her dad transfers from his job. And it's sad because she's leaving behind... Babies in this club and Charlotte, who is like a little sister to her. And I gave this one for the stars as well. It's cute. Um, they also run a rum and sale, which is fun. And in this one, they have to find a replacement for Stacy to cover some of like all the babysitting jobs that they have that Logan and Shannon can't cover. So this one's Hello Mallory, and this one is three stars. I also gave this three stars because. The Baby Sins Club make Mallory take a test, like a written test and an oral test, and it's not feeling fair to her. And in this one, Jesse Ramsey, who is black, moves into Stacy's old house, and Mallory and Jesse become friends. And then, because of the way the Baby Sins Club treated them, they send in a new Baby Sins Club called Kids Incorporated. So, the whole story is about them trying to find a middle ground. And the last book I read was Little Miss Donnybrook and Dawn. And in this one, four of the girls enter a beauty pageant called Little Miss Donnybrook. And Dawn, Claudia, Millian, and Christy have to coach them. And that causes a little bit of conflict and competition. And it's kind of amusing. It's a short, quick read, but it's fun, and the answers are funny, so I'm giving it a four stars. Unfortunately, that's all I read for this week, uh, for this part of the wrap-up. I'm hoping to fit in more in the contemporary thon and thrill in the thon. But I've had some stuff going on, so this is all I've been able to sneak in. How's your reading been going? Thanks for watching, and have a great day.